have one. Today I'm going to show you how to make this lollipop charm. And um, I think this is the original design. But yeah. And if you want to get like this effect, I just use these bands. So the yellow pink bands. Or you could use tie dye. But yeah. So let's get started. First we're going to be starting out with making the stick part. I'm going to be using white. And make sure that your loom is in the triangle configuration and the arrow is pointing away from you. So first we're going to grab double bands of the color you're using for your stick. And you're going to go from the middle. Oops. You're going to go from the middle and forward one. And then it's going to go forward three times in total. Just like that. Now for the actual lollipop part. You can use any color, but I'm going to be using turquoise jelly. So what you're going to do with the double bands is going to go from where the stick ends out to the left. <clears throat> and then you're just going to go forward. And make sure that you're still using double bands. Then we're going to go to the right. Then you're going to go back to the beginning, back to this part. Then you're going to go forward. One more time, but just like that. Then we'll go back to the beginning and go from here to here, here to here, and up to here. Just like that. Now you can turn your loom around, but before I start looping, make sure you put a cat band on this pin. So take your single band to figure eight and then place it on. Now we can start to loop. So you're going to go under the cap band and get the top two bands that are going to be going to the left. And make sure you hold your cap band, your capping band down or else it will fall off just like what happened to me. So grab the top two bands under the capping band and loop them to the left. Now from here it should be bottom two. And if your bands are too high, just push them down. Now we can go back to the beginning and under the capping band, grab the next two bands. That should be going forward. Now if this happens to you, it falls out, that's okay. Just grab it from underneath and put it back up. Now bottom two. Now go back to the beginning. It should be the last two bands under the cutting band. You're going to take it and loop it to the right. Now from here it should just be the bottom two. Loop to next one. Bottom two and hook it to this middle. There will be a lot of bands in here. If that happens to you that's okay. Just like that. Okay there will be a lot of bands here but make sure you grab the right ones. So these ones. It will be tight, so make sure you don't rip any bands. Now, just go forward, bottom two, and then we're done looping. So now you can take a band that you use for the stick, put your hook under, take the band onto the hook, put the hook back up, slide it up here. And then that back band, just put it over the whole hook. And when it's left on, you're going to pull to create a slip knot. Now you can take this off of the loom. Just move it around a bit. And if you don't want this sticking out, just take your hook. Go into the stick part, grab that band, and pull it through. It will still be there, so just put it in one more spot, and there you go. You created 
your own lollipop charm. Thanks for watching. Bye.